was the big TV question of the week. I have to stop you because you off your How does a reality show known for its inflated drama, hyper materialism, and bitchy fights? You're such a liar. Handle an all too real tragedy that hit close to home. Well, today, we finally have our answer. I think a lot of us have some guilt about not seeing this coming. The season premiere of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills aired last night. It's the first new episode since cast member Taylor Armstrong's estranged husband, Russell, killed himself on August 15th. Russell was said to be depressed about his marriage trouble, his financial problems, and how he was portrayed on the show. I feel that this is the time when all the women should get together. And in the first four minutes of last night's episode, the housewives, except for Taylor, convened a sort of on-camera support group to talk about the tragedy. Well, there's plenty of men that, you know, their wives leave them. And they don't kill themselves. Well, she cannot feel responsible for that. It seems like everybody is very sad, very heartbroken. But Showbiz Tonight can tell you that's not stopping critics from going off on Bravo and the show. Today's Los Angeles Times said last night's show became, quote, a creepy necro party game. And Entertainment Weekly called it a, quote, hopeless attempt at good taste. Bravo's in a really tough spot right now. They're definitely stuck between a rock and a hard place. After the four-minute opening discussion in last night's episode, Bravo aired a disclaimer, stating everything else we're about to see was recorded before Russell's death. Then it was back to business as usual. I chose to not talk to Kyle. With more of the show's patented drama and fighting among the rich frenemies. Taylor's very manipulative. But with one big difference. Russell Armstrong was not in the first episode at all. Taylor and Russell's marital trouble had been a big part of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills' first season. We're so disconnected, and I don't know what to do to bring it back together. But after Russell's shocking death, Bravo has removed scenes featuring Russell from the second season's first few episodes, something Russell's family had demanded. They're very, very concerned about making sure that they treat the situation respectfully. And Bravo made other cuts. <laughs> sort of looking for some things to spice up my love life. This scene was included in an early version of the season premiere sent to Showbiz Tonight before Russell's suicide. In it, we see Taylor shopping for items to help spice up her marriage. Russell and I really discussed whether or not we wanted to work on our marriage and make some significant changes or whether it was time to call it quits. Bravo cut that scene out of the episode that aired last night. But Bravo left in this now shocking comment one of the other husbands made about Russell and Taylor's attempts at marriage counseling. No, if I had to go to see a therapist to, to make my marriage better, I would feel weak. So he's calling me weak for trying to work on my own mental health and to save my marriage for my child? Still, this morning, the Housewives cast told the Today Show Taylor was happy with the episode. She thought that they handled it respectfully, and in light of the situation, she was pleased with the outcome. And pointing to the suicide prevention PSA that aired after the show, the housewives say they're performing a service. If we could save one life, then our message is getting across. But in a show known for melodrama and infighting... You better watch your step. You are a liar and sick and alcoholic. That message may be hard to get across.